Good morning, face and body team. As you can see, I'm actually not at work, but uh, in my home office on this beautiful, sunny, you can see the sun out there, morning, uh, California. It is a Saturday, and how quickly things can change in a matter of days, seconds, and hours. I am uh, wanted to relay a message and an update on where we are today with face and body as well as my opinions and views on what's going on. I hope that you are all with your loved ones and hugging them in the tight confines of your home. As you know, things are moving super rapidly and in just a matter of days, a couple days ago, we, we received this stay at home order uh, in the whole state of California. I don't think historically this has been done in I can't remember for how long. And so people are asking, of course, is what is going on with the practice? I like to say essentially never would I say that the practice is closing, but there is obviously a temporary suspension and hold on what's going on with the practice. So in regards to what's been recommended by ASPS, Society of Plastic Surgery, as well as the CDC, on holding elective surgeries, I certainly think that is a necessary thing uh, in order to look at the global perspective of how we need to treat everyone. And so in terms of the practice itself, the lines will stay open. The office in terms of being connected, we're establishing a virtual office where you can contact us, you can email us and call us 24 seven, even if it's just for information regarding uh, the viral situation as well. The physical office will be extremely limited to more urgent or emergent patients only. Obviously, any elective procedures will be on hold till at the minimum April 19th is the stay at home order from California. And I've been thinking a lot about this in terms of what we need to do as people and me, myself as a physician, as well as humanity in general, we need to ultimately take a step back and do the right thing. And when something as urgent as a stay at home order is issued, I urge everyone to really listen to those three words, which is indeed stay at home. I do believe people are not taking this seriously enough. And if I am in constant con communication with my colleagues in anesthesia and emergency medicine and they are prepared for a huge tsunami of health um, care issues in terms of being able to treat everyone that does indeed get sick from this virus. So we need to do everything we can to protect ourselves truly with social distancing. That really is the only thing we can do to stop the spread of the disease. And so the number one thing people are underappreciating and not realizing is the silent transmission which is happening. So when we look at this virus which is outsmarting the human race because of the fact that there is an incubation period, a silent incubation of at least five days, People are walking around with no symptoms at the grocery stores or whatnot that they're still traveling and passing this virus along. And so it is extremely contagious and uh, there's contamination vastly and spreading like wildfire because of the silent incubation period. So please respect that. And again, I'm going to keep reiterating, uh, stay at home if you can. And the topic of social distancing should even be further measured to really radically isolate yourself from society for those for the upcoming 14 days you can't rely on other people you can't rely on the government really it's up to you yourself to really keep yourself safe and protected with you your family and your loved ones going on to the financial aspect i can tell you we are all in the same boat I just heard from a colleague, friend of mine, that the realtor market has put everything on hold. So here we have the real estate crisis again, along with every single business being affected. So you are not alone. We are all suffering together in terms of this economic turmoil. 
but we again have to take the step back of what is more important, your finances or truly your health and, and indeed our overall survival. So again, if you have a choice, please stay at home. That's really the only way we can um, uh, overcome this. So, so I'm going to stay at home for the next four weeks as much as I can. Um, I will likely go into the office once a week to see emergent patients only. And so the next uh, four weeks, I'm going to spend time with my four beautiful children and my lovely wife and uh, fall deeper, deeper into love with them and in the tight confines of uh, my, my home, just like all of you are. And I'm going to learn to bond with them. And I'm looking forward to, we had a uh, pizza competition with my kids last night. So that was fun, teaching my five-year-old daughter to wash dishes and uh, clean up around the house, play outside, and we're all going to have a workout session. So this is a blessing in terms of the fact that we as people are going to be forced to be human and, and be with our loved ones. So please take advantage of that. Never in our lifetime will this happen again in terms of this type of uh, uh, specific scenario. So